leave Glamford Park car park just outside the ground. It's still a big throng of people waiting to uh, to cheer the uh, the team off as well. Manager Russ Wilcox with us. He's got his uh, medal around his neck. It says League Two runners up. They are going up to League One next season. Uh, Russ, just before we set off, they've been out on the pitch as well. The, the fans there. Just, a few days for it to sink in now. What are your thoughts? Yeah, without a doubt, it has sunk in, and it's a, it's a special, special feeling. We've been speaking about this uh, this feeling uh, for the last few months now, and then uh, it's finally arrived. Uh, it's been a massive uh, squad effort, as we always say, and uh, looking forward to this uh, trip down Scunthorpe. Hopefully, the fans will come out in the force because at the end of the day, it's for them. It's always for the supporters. They're the life and soul of this football club. Uh, they. They back the club through uh, good times and bad times, um, and this is a good time. How nice is it to be able to do something like this for the players, for the fans, for everyone involved in the club? I think it's brilliant. It's been a massive team effort, and that's you know from top to bottom, right throughout the football club, everybody's played their part, and that's been the key. Uh, but obviously, the, the main people are the supporters. Um, you know, they, they they back the club. They they come whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. You know, it's been three really, really tough seasons. So to reward them after that. Put a smile back on people's faces. It's, uh, it's very rewarding for, for myself, for the staff, and for the players. Thanks, Russ. We'll try and catch up with you a bit later on as well. Manager Russ Wilcox there. Yeah! Went at that run of 28 games. I'm probably the happiest bus in Scunthorpe, it has to be said, with the Scunthorpe United players. With me, orchestrated their promotion. Russ, what does it feel like to be doing this? Yeah, it's a special feeling. Uh, it's great for the town, uh, great for the football club. We've had three tough years, so it's nice to give something back. I'm going to say, you've had some ups and downs. The fans came onto the pitch in the final game. What was that like? Yeah, it's just a great feeling. It's uh, it's all about the support. You know, they're the, the, the life and soul of the football club. They play hard and money. How many jobs about at the moment? So it's uh, it's very rewarding from from myself, my staff, and the players to give something back to this town. And a man that's helped you achieve that, Sam Slocum. What's it like for players' point of view? Yeah, it's great. I mean, the fans rushing on at the end of the game was uh, it's a bit surreal. Um, it's nice for them to have something to focus on and them to enjoy, especially after the last three years we've had. Um, I mean, the last time we had a promotion, I didn't really play much of a part of it, so this is brilliant for me. They call you Mr. Invincible after that incredible run. What happened? What changed back in November? I'm uh, not sure, sad to say. I had to put your finger on reasons why, but uh, a lot of it's been down to hard work, uh, togetherness and belief. You know, we, we believed in the squad, we believed we were good enough to get out of this league and uh, the lads have gone out there and, and done the business. That's one thing, of course, to get promotion. It's another thing to stay up. Are you looking forward to the new season? Oh, we can't wait for the challenge. It's, uh, you know, it's going to be no disrespect, better stadiums, better football clubs. You know, we look at the three derby games, Doncaster, Barnsley, Sheffield United. Uh, can't wait for the fixtures to come out on June 18th. Can you sum it, sum it all up for me, what you both feel at the minute? Here we are touring through uh, Scunthorpe. Fans delighted to see you all around. Go on, Sam, you go first. Uh, hometown, so yeah, it's, it's amazing to be honest. Uh, never thought I'd be doing this seven years ago when I lost the county cup from Boxford, so brilliant. Yeah, a special feeling. For me personally, it's brilliant because I've, I've, I've tasted it as a player, I've tasted it as a system manager, and now to be as, as a manager as well is uh, fantastic hat-trick personally, but uh, the main focus is, is the town. It's, it's just a great achievement for, for the town. Well, congratulations both. Now, if you weren't sure what's happening on this bus, you can have a look back to the other bus. It tells you what's going on.
Yeah.